Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to Triangle Inequalities for Yay Math. It's Friday. Are we happy it's Friday? Yeah. Yay Friday? Yay Friday. <laughs> good enough. Yay. <laughs> Just say yay. 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 Okay. yay. I wanted to see what you do. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saving it for a random time. Oh. Okay. If I say something, will you just repeat it after me? Yay? Yay! Are you annoyed by that? Sorry. Are you annoyed by that? <laughs> there you go. There you go. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I love your age group. Thank you. Okay. So, please draw the following. There. <laughs> On the back of your sheets, fine. Is it five five? Yeah. No, the five four. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are those supposed to be the same? No, they're not. They're not supposed to be the same. This one's a little smaller, you can tell. Okay, here we go. Let's say this is five and this is five. Let's say this is Six and this is six. And then let's say we'll call this, let's say, uh, 40 degrees, and we'll call this uh, 20 degrees. Okay, here is the question. Here we have a five that's same as the five, a six that's same as the six. So it's starting to look like the triangles may be congruent. But then the angle between them, the angle between them is different, okay? What do you think? Which side is longer, this side or this side? The top one or the bottom? Which one's longer? Yeah. The top one. The top one. Why is the top one going to be longer than this one? Because the angle opposite it is bigger. Right, right. And that's the first of two rules we're doing today. That's all it is. Okay, if you want to write the name of the rule, it's called the SAS inequality. The SAS inequality. All right, so it's side angle side, side angle side. But the angle between the two congruent sides, you can draw this to help you out. It's important, you need two congruent sides and then the angle between them to be different. And then if the angle's different, then the side opposite it is different, okay? So that's one of the rules. And now let's do another one. Let's say you have, here's one, and then here's another one, slightly larger, you can see. And let's put in five and five, and six and six. And now let's do seven and eight. Seven and eight. Okay. While you're finishing drawing those. Okay, next rule. Which angle is bigger? The green one or the blue one? Yes, in the back. The blue one. The blue one. Why is the blue one bigger? Because the side is larger. Side's larger. All right. So this is the second rule. If you have, again, two sides that are the same. See, this is the same as this. That's one side. This is the same as this. That's two sides. And then a third side that's different then the angle opposite that third side will be equally different, meaning the bigger side will have the bigger angle. And it makes sense. Right? Hopefully it makes sense. If we're talking about the space between my fingers being a side and this being an angle between my hands, so the angle's smaller, the length is smaller. The angle's bigger, the length is bigger. Anyone can guess what this is called? Wait, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So would a question be which angle is bigger? Right. That's what we're going to do here. Exactly. Okay, so then the answer would be that. Blue angle is bigger. All right. Okay. Blue angle greater than green angle. So, this that's, so it'll give you the two triangles and right. which angle is bigger. Exactly. You say, you say triangle 
856. Triangle of 856, the top angle of 856. I left off the labels to make it so it's more simple. Right. Okay, this is called SSS inequality. I'll leave those up. SSS inequality. Okay, now we go over HAR. Here we have, you know, four mini triangles, you can say. This little thing here is X in the middle. Okay? And they have it labeled. Do the labels. Top one is B, and then you have A, and you have X and D here, and you have C. Okay. First question. What does it say? BXA, this one, this angle, versus DXA, this angle. So let's mark it. BXA or DXA. Who can tell me which angle is larger, the green one or the blue one, and why? Yes, please. Um, the blue one. The blue one's bigger, why? Like, because according to SSS, if it has a larger side, then it will be bigger. It has a larger side. Okay, first, you're right. One step before that, let's establish, do these two triangles first have two congruent sides? Mm -hmm. Do they have two congruent sides? Let's think about it. Yeah. Is there one side of this triangle congruent to this? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Three. Three. So, we have the three congruent to the three. The sure one, though. And they share a wall. What's that property called? Reflexive. Reflexive one, right. So they share this one too. So now they officially have two sides that are congruent. And now that they have two sides that are congruent, we can compare the third side. By correct. SSS inequality. This side is bigger than this side. Thus, this angle is bigger than this angle. Okay. And now we have, we can actually mark it. This angle opposite it is bigger here. All right, and so we established, we could write the answer, DXA, angle DXA is greater than BXA, angle BXA. Okay, next question they ask, BC and DC, BC and DC. So this line and this line, which one's bigger? Which one? That's the yeah, number two you can see. Which one's bigger, BC or DC? Let's box this so I'm not confused. Okay, yes, in the back. Uh, would it be BC? BC bigger? Okay. First, let's go through the motions and prove why you're right. Do they first have two sides congruent? Yeah. Okay, what are the two sides that are congruent? Um, C what? Um, C X. CX is reflexive. Yeah. And then you have three. Right, and then the three and the three. Good. Okay, and now what is the inequality part? Which do, what do we know is not the same so far? That one. What's not the same in these two triangles? Um, D C and B C. We don't know that yet. Oh, then the angles. The angles, right, right, the right. BXC and DX. Right, right. Which angle is bigger, the blue one or the green one? The blue. We established the blue last time, right? But it's the green. In this case, the blue one's still bigger than the green. But isn't there a nine at the bottom? Of the There's a nine here. Okay. So would this be more or less than nine? Less. More. 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 But isn't the bottom one eight? That means they're the same. This and this? No, the eight is AQ is eight, so wouldn't BC be eight? A, excuse me, A what? Oh, AD, I mean. AD is eight. AD is eight, so? Wouldn't BC be eight also? No, not necessarily. Because this That's angle is eight. different from this. So we could even put it in. This angle is big. This angle is small. So this particular scenario matches up with the SAS inequality in that two sides the same, the angle between them different, that's the opposite side different. Yes? Can you figure this out with um, like vertical angle 
Huh? Yeah, we did. I actually did use the vertical angles, right? I said, since we established that the blue one is bigger than the green, I made them vertical. So now this blue one's still bigger than the green one. And now, do you see how after we establish the two sides are the same, this angle is bigger than this angle. So what does that mean for BC and DC? Which one's bigger? BC. BC. Questions? Okay. So now we can do something like this. Big. Small. So in other words, BC will be more than 9. BC will be more than 9. Okay? Good. Let's take this. And uh, we can get rid of this. Two more, we're done. This ain't easy. Do parts funny. Um, I laugh so hard as she's watching this. <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> okay, Josefina. <laughs> we are back, Mr. Josefina. <laughs> what is the problem asking us for? Comparing what two things? Angle what? STR and uh, TRU. Angle STR. An angle T R U. T R U. Okay, so over here, we're going to probably put greater than, less than, or equals. Who knows? Okay, S T R, let's color it. S T R, where? Here. S T R is this angle? Just 31. It's opposite the 31. Yeah. But it's, the, it's an angle, yeah, it's the right. degrees. And T R U? is this one, right, okay, which angle is bigger, blue, I'm having way too much fun with the color, <laughs> does it help at all, yeah. it seems to help, what to focus on, yeah, yeah. the blue one, the blue one, STR, explain, well because RS, the second RS, is RS, the it's so 31. The opposite, the angle is then going to be 31. Yep. And then for the angle, UT is 30. Mm -hmm. And so opposite of this angle. Opposite the 31 yeah. will be right. Here is the thing. The ways that these can get tricky is that if this happened to be a 21, you would not be able to answer this question. So you just say impossible. Right. You couldn't tell. You couldn't tell. Because it's not established that there's two sides that are equal or congruent. First, once we establish two sides congruent, as in this congruent to this and reflexive, then yes, we can say that this angle is bigger because this side is bigger and this angle is bigger to this corresponding side. Okay, one more. And that's over here. That's over here. So I'm going to wear the chicken next time. Yeah, don't do it in any other class. That's what yeah, it's exclusive. <laughs> I don't want to walk by that room and see you in a chicken suit. What would you do? Probably I'd like flip out. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck? I'm a chicken too. <laughs> You'd like walk back like this. You'd like go crazy. <laughs> and I'll give it to I'd you. Do that, but I yeah, probably. That's what I would do. You look through the window. Yeah. I point at you. You point and like. <laughs> Like this. Like I'm gonna eat you later. <laughs> We're like an anti-KFC. <laughs> yeah, like a KFC bucket and I fear for my life. KFC bucket. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's you. <laughs> that's you, man. I'm gonna grill you now. Kentucky grilled chicken. Get in the bucket. I start like plucking myself, like okay. Before I die. Ow! Ow! That's problemos. What are they asking us to compare? What are they asking us to compare on the paper? Yeah? Uh, P, Q, and then some other 
P, Q, and R, Q comparison. And now it's probably going to be very straightforward. Which one is bigger, P, Q, or R, Q? P, Q. That's greater than. Yeah. Okay. Looks like Pac Man almost. Yeah, he's eating the PQ. Whatever. Now that my Pac Man's vicious. <laughs> And Pac-Man needs to see the dentist. Cavity. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Ow! It's like while it's going, like flossing while eating. Looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Okay, you can click it. Oh yeah, yay math? Yay math! That was good. Awesome. Bye.